Here we are at last, the fourth and final video on our H LW um, 6LW horizontal engine. Now I have to apologise at the outset, there's a lot of wind here today and there's nothing I can do about it. The doors are rattling, the spoutons are rattling, the trees are rattling, um, my knees are rattling. So you're going to have to bear with me. You'll just have to listen extra attentively and I have to speak a little bit louder than normal. I also may have to overvoice some of this video. I'm really sorry. So this engine's ready to ship now. We're really quite pleased with it. We had a lot of work to do. It was really quite a challenge, quite a number of challenges and sub-challenges uh, compared to a conventional vertical engine. For example... This is a conventional rocker cover. But on this engine, um, there's a groove round this edge here on the rocker cover. And into that, we have to set a bead. And I had to do some research to find that bead that was going to be of the right size. Remember, again, we're dealing with imperial dimensions here. But uh, I found one okay, and uh, we've no leaks at all. <coughs> The other challenge was um, routing the pipework, and you'll see something about that uh, later. So she's fine, she's ready to ship. We'll just pop over to the other side now, and we'll start her up and let you hear. Again, I'm going to have to over voice, I'm so sorry. <laughs> So you can see there that she's really quite quite clean. Now this engine is cold. Uh, she's not warm at all. So there'll always be a little bit of smoke there because the fuel has not been burnt um, as thoroughly as it, as it ought to be. So how do we know the engine's hot? Um, on LW engines in particular, we put our hand down between the two blocks, and that's the area that you feel. Whenever the engine's up to temperature, it should be about 60 degrees C normally, and that's about a hot bath temperature. So it's easy to sense the temperature of an engine, even without cooling. This is just a quick overview of the engine in our horizontal position. You can see the lift pump there. You can see complexities of the copper work on the, head, the rocket covers, as I explained earlier, with the special seals. That water pump is that water pipe there is really quite interesting. Originally, that was a long pipe to a thermostat at the rear end of the engine. Here it's at the front. This is showing the exhauster that we fitted. Now, because it's open at the top there, it can give the engine quite a quite a peculiar sound because it's going puff, 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 puff. This simply shows the large oil pipe returning oil from the heads back down to the the sump. This was on the video that you will have seen uh, a few weeks ago. So this shows you the bus that the engine's going into. Um, it's a, a Bristol Easter National MW coach. And I think you'll agree it looks really quite, quite, um, quite lovely. This is the front view of the same vehicle. And obviously, this is the back. This is the engine that's being replaced. And you can see there the mount that we featured in some of the in earlier parts of this video. And this gives you some impression of how uh, the engine is slung underneath the body of the bus. This is two advantages. It lowers the center of gravity, which means the bus can go around corners quicker and it also leaves more room for passengers inside. Now, with conventional vertical engines, we're quite happy 
to mount them vertically on a pallet and off they go as safe as houses. You'll have seen this in previous videos. But because the sump was so exposed on this engine, we decided that it was only right and proper to put her in a crate. And you can see that largely completed here. Okay, everybody, she's ready to go in the crate. Um, today, is Friday, uh, today is Friday, so she'll not go now until Monday. But the customer uh, will have her by Tuesday or Wednesday. We have to thank Roger Jackson of the Enzyme Bus Company for giving us the opportunity to work on this engine. Um, it was hard work, uh, but we, we had great fun and we learned a lot in the process. So if anybody else out, out there has got a horizontal engine that they want done, we'd be only too happy to do it for them. Thank you all so much.